All right, hey guys, and welcome back. As this week, I wanted to take a quick look at some really cool old uh, classic vintage Batman toys that I had. And uh, these are both from the late 70s and early 80s. And I just think they're kind of neat from that era of like the whole 60s um, timeline of, you know, the goofy classic Adam West uh, series of Batman shows and things like that. And I think these toys are really fun and representative of that era. So I have two here. Um, I have this little bat boat, which I'm not quite sure uh, who the manufacturer is on this. Uh, I believe this may have been a mail away or part of a model kit. And then of course I have here, this is the uh, iconic uh, 66 version made by Duncan. And this is their Batmobile. So let's take a look at that first. And I think Pretty much anyone, if, you're, uh, if you've been collecting any type of vintage toys for a while, you'd pretty much recognize this off the bat. Ah, pun intended, I guess, right? <laughs> um, now, there is a few things that this is missing, uh, unfortunately. Uh, it would have a little red siren light that would go up at the top. And unfortunately, we are missing Batman in the driver's seat. But that's not uncommon. These things tend to pop loose. Uh, we do have Robin there, but we don't have uh, Batman. Now, the stickers are a little faded, but that's to be expected, you know, seeing as this was made in 78 and was probably played with uh, pretty heavily. So they're not quite as yellow as they used to be, but, uh, you know, they're still nice. You can still definitely see that classic 60s logo. You have the nice uh, hubcaps on the tires. And this is very light, all Duncan's plastic toys. They were a big plastic toy manufacturer. You know, they're all hollow plastic. Uh, but I think that they're still really nicely made and good quality overall. Then you have the iconic uh, 60s front of the Batmobile here with that iconic face and fins, which looks really nice. I love the bubble domes of that classic Batmobile design. I think that looks really fantastic. Uh, we have Robin um, sitting here in the, uh, in the passenger seat which is kind of odd that he's yellow and then Batman's red. I don't get the colors, but they, they look nice with the toy, but they are definitely kind of strange. And then you have the other logo on the other side. Uh, you have the little exhaust pipes that are coming out of the back there. I don't know if you can see those little silver pipes right there, which are kind of neat. Uh, the other hubcaps and tires on the back. And then the... Uh, the fins, which they look really great, which they would have had like the little lights. I mean, they're not missing, but just in the show, there would have been like the red lights there and the fender. And you have a hitch um, because Duncan actually made a bat boat. So that's not uh, the bat boat made by Duncan, but there was a larger bat boat made for this that you could hook up and tow around. So this is a really cool looking toy, I think, overall. It's really nice to display. Uh, you have the Duncan logo down here on the bottom. Uh, the wheels spin pretty good. The front ones are a little stuck uh, over the years. I think the axle might need to be readjusted, but overall it's a really, really nice little toy. And I just love this style and how it looks from that era. So very cool. Now let's take a look at this little bat boat, which I also think is interesting. And uh, right off the bat, you can see it's, ex it's extremely colorful. Uh, definitely doesn't go with this set because of how much smaller it is, but I really like it. You have this kind of orangey red fin in the back that's cut out really nice with a nice design. You have the Batmobile logo, of course. You have the cockpit with all the different uh, controls there, painted in silver uh, with the red seats. I don't know if there would have been little figures. I'm guessing there probably would have been that would have went in there. Uh, you have the green... Uh, glass. Now I'm guessing this kind of looks like it might have been something you picked up at like a convenience store. That kind of the more I look at it, maybe it's just like something you got at a little five and dime. Um, you have the little red fire logo on the front, which is kind of neat. Some neat striping there. You have these little tiny fins. I don't know if you can see them on both sides for some interesting detail. Uh, you have on the back, there may have been a propeller or that's for the jet for the propulsion. And then on the other side, see, there's no stickers. So this may have just been something kind of cheaply made and put in a uh, convenience store, but I still think looks really, really nice. And even though you can't, you won't be able to see the uh, information. Uh, let's see, it says, uh, it's hard to say, New York, 
really hard to see. National Periodical Publications. And this is from 1974. I've had a hard time finding any information on it, but I still think it looks really nice. And uh, it's just a really cool style of that old, um, you know, Batman vehicles, boats, and accessories from that time period. So very cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking this quick look with me today at these vintage uh, Batman toys made by uh, Duncan and some other toy manufacturers from the 70s. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.